where do you think the REST or the fintech applications are evolving at the moment, especially due to the latest regulatory developments which you mentioned earlier? Is there anything where you can think of maybe successful? Exactly? I think that we fintechs are evolving. Uh, I would make a distinction between fintech and REST tech just for the sake mm -hmm. of, of this discussion. Uh, so one hand, if you think fintech, they already have for years now access to uh, as you said, the sandbox. Some regulators have established sandboxes. Uh, those are very clearly indicated how the work with the regulator, you can have, you can work with the clients, you can access the regulator information, of course, but you can also uh, work together with the regulator to, to test those, those new initiatives, which are purely technology driven. I think that the fintech is world, which we've seen in the last few years, have been heavily focused on AML, fraud detection, support with AML, KYC, all of that. If you think about it, because machine learning processes are so much more standardized now, it's easy to do the repetitive job of AML uh, through the use of machine learning processor and AI. So this is where the intersection has really occurred extensively. However, things have also evolving. So FinTech itself, if you start talking about more on the on the DLT, so on the distribution ledger technologies, there are some successful cases. Very recently, I think that it has been approved, I think in Australia, the first DLT private network by the regulator that really allows for effectively say the regulator is happy with with the specific network of exchanging securities in DLT format. It's very good. I mean, there are plenty, uh, I think, of, of, of fintech cases. In the UK, we have a Revolut, if you want to you put that into that bucket, it's been there for several years and, and so far and so on. I would say that there is a distinction there with red tech. This red tech effect with technologies which are aiming to uh, aid the regulatory process they've been a bit more slow to, to be developed than fintech because fintech goes straight into the business, if you will, of uh, financial services, while red tech it tries to accomplish the automation part of something which is a bit more complex uh, in terms of change or in terms of infrastructure. But there are some cases there. We started seeing some very good cases. One would be, for example, in the States, there is FINRA, which is the self-regulatory body in the States for brokers, effectively and do a lot of work also on collect information on funds. So effectively they do some of the SEC work. FINRA as, as a authority effectively has launched a program for which they're providing now their rule book in a way which we're not seeing that before. They allow for a platform effectively to be queried and ask for specific topics and cross-reference the topics in the rule book of FINRA. And that effectively automates a lot of the information that compliance officers and would normally usually try to interpret themselves and looking into the rule book. Now, with the facilitation of the regulator, they're able to be served via an API or a, a web page, which is specifically build so that they can see the, the this this in a different format so that's for example it's, it seems to be going pretty well in the us the application itself is not complete it just covered part of the rule book but it's a good indication on what we will see in the future in the rec tech space which is more and more automation of exchange of information between the regulator and the supervised entities and how this is going to be referenced. Because if you think about it, the regulator only cares about the rules. And so there's going to be some sort of automation of these rules being effectively tagged for the information which is processed from the firms to, to the regulator.